Hello, Rejects. Greg Halba here. H Halba. Halba. Gregory Halba. Halba. This is Juanetono. <laughs> Close enough. Moya is from the channel Sweet Eats. Make sure to go to that channel mm -hmm. when you get the chance, mm -hmm. and presumably after this video. <laughs> but before we do that, Monette is also an actress, and she writes too. She even put out a short film on YouTube that was wonderful. You guys could go check it out. You know what? I'm gonna tag that short film. Thanks. In this video, <laughs> you guys gotta go watch it. It's really well done. Thank I'm serious. You. <laughs> go watch that shit. Anywho. We both like film. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a trailer review real fast. A lot of people, when I say a lot of people, I mean a lot. So much to the point that I'm gonna go into my phone and specifically name someone who has been harassing me to do a review of this trailer. Ooh. The reason why I haven't is because I saw Rotten Tomatoes that this film is getting horrible feedback. And by mentioning that, the studio especially won't let me monetize this video. <laughs> so this is going to make no money by saying that. That's how studios work with reactions, people. <laughs> Jeremy Boker. Here's what he said today out of all the days he's commented. Look, man, I watch a lot of your videos. That's what he sounds like, apparently. <laughs> I enjoy them. You make me laugh, and I respect your opinion. I'm going to ask you again. Can you please react to the Man Down trailer? I'll keep asking till the movie comes out if I have to. Ha, ha, it's well, like buddy. Politest harassment. Well, it's it's just like, <laughs> if I was to text you every day and you were ignoring me or call you every day and I was nice, doesn't mean it's not harassment. True, but it could be worse. It could be worse. I believe in persistence wears down resistance. So if I just keep <laughs> calling her, it might turn into... <laughs> That's how I ended up here. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. She's not. It's a sad, sad story. Let's watch Shia. Some disturbing violence. Ooh. Language. Wow. Yeah. We got this. He's my battle buddy. We kicked the doors together. We took enemy fire. It's just not a relationship you understand if you haven't been through it, I guess. Is there a reason? Gary Oldman. You don't want to discuss what you saw in that room. Really variety, huh? Really variety? What happened in that room is real. I can't take that back. I can't win, you know? It's just one of them things. That got bad reviews? I know, right? It's kind of surprising. It's also kind of surprising my, my contacts falling out, right? Not, not, not for good quality video. <laughs> it's after a reaction. Where'd it go? Look, look at <laughs> when I cry, it only comes out of his left eye. Doesn't that mean something? Like when you tear out of one side, it's from happiness, and the other side, it's from sadness or something. I thought if you cry out of your left eye only, that means you're going to burn in hell. Just start getting that right eye ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I... Love Shia LaBeouf. Do you? Yeah, you I do. You love Shia LaBeouf. I yeah, do. Yeah, I do. I, I do. can proudly say that. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Have you seen Fury? Yes, I have seen Fury. Uh, oh my god. He's pretty good in that. He's great. Yes, but have you seen Holes? Yeah, <laughs> yes. 
That's another good one. Also great in that, Even Stevens. Even Stevens, even better, I would say, than any of his most recent work. That's when he was at his prime. Yeah. So he also did this other movie, and I can't remember what it's called. It wasn't one of his bigger movies, but it's basically like him chasing a girl around, and it ends up with him like, oh, I won't tell you the ending. Never mind. Not gonna... That goes... That went nowhere. But anyway, it's great. He's really cool. You see him in Nymphomaniac? <laughs> no, I have not seen that yet. It had yeah, like one see star. His penis. Do you see his penis in that? You see his penis in Nymphomaniac a couple of times, what? And, he had, and that's one of the movies he had real sex with someone in. Oh, right. I think you would like it. I think you would. I mean, come on. I heard your song that you did. If you saw Shia LaBeouf's penis, that would be a great <laughs> day for you. <laughs> Without giving away your song, only teasing it. <laughs> Whatever. Anywho, that looks good. It looks good. Okay, I'm kind of conflicted with Shia LaBeouf. Honestly, sometimes I think he is amazing. Other times I'm like, this guy takes himself very serious. Like there are times where it's like, he's, he seems like he's kind of overdoing it. The drama, dramatic aspects of the life where he kind of loses other layers of a character. He just gets so caught up in the series. But that could work for this role. Uh, yeah, I think for a role like this it would be. Yeah, for a traumatized war vet, absolutely. That could mm -hmm. totally work. It looks like he does a great job. How old is he now? I think he's 16 officially. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the big one six. <laughs> I think he's so talented. He's very talented. And he's one of the few Disney stars that have actually broken out of the Disney phase. Yes, him and David Henry from Wizards of the Oh, David. <laughs> we knew David. Back in the day. Back in the day. He was like crying like in every other scene in this trailer. And pretty much every other movie he's done. Yeah, the mark of a good actor. If you can cry. <laughs> uh, duh. No, I think he's great and he really, he feels, like he genuinely feels everything that he's going through and it's, it's not just going through the motions and, you know. Well, he creates a whole character and I love his, I love his weird antics that he's sort of developed over the years. I like, I like crazy Shia LaBeouf. I like him wearing a bag over his head. <laughs> I like him saying, yeah, I'm going to sit still while you come in the room and do whatever the fuck you want to me. Yeah, I heard I'm that. I'm just going to take it. That's cool. I'm like, you're a weird artist. I did hear he had sex with a girl while he was, while he had a girlfriend at the time, though. But he's like, I didn't do that's part of the That's part of the act, though, is they're what? allowed to do whatever they want with me. That's I wonder weird. if he, like, showered after every guest or if he just... Like kept it going. Like they all had sex with him? Yeah, like, yeah. it's like, damn, dude, it's kind of dangerous, right? <laughs> but I like Crazy Shia. I like Crazy Shia. And Crazy Shia here looks like a good job. I mean, my only issue with it, this looks like one of those films that would probably only be worth it from Shia LaBeouf's performance. Like, you got cool actors, and you're like Gary Oldman and Kate Mara, and Jai Courtney looks all right, I guess. But the rest of the film kind of looks like... It looks a little stereotypical. I mean, that's not to be an insult to war vets. After a while, it becomes a certain kind of genre. It becomes a certain kind of film, and, and something about it doesn't seem to really offer anything super fresh. I feel like it might be a weaker storytelling movie, but I feel like Shia would probably still give a great job. Even if the movie's weak, I feel like he'd still be strong. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So that's no disrespect to Shia. <laughs> so just like the do. story might not have been. So could do a good that. job. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like it looks a little re repetitive. The tone of it seems a little confusing too. Let's go on Rod's tomatoes. I'm just gonna say what they're saying. That's what this video is. <laughs> that's what this original content I'm providing is gonna be. <laughs> Me just saying what other critics are saying. Zero percent out of eight critics so far. The buffs. The buff. Performance is overpowered by the film's grandiose misplaced ambition to switch back and forth between genres. Yeah, okay. Hollywood Reporter. I only saw that it had 0% a long time ago. I haven't looked at any of these. That was kind of my worries from watching the trailer. It was like, this seems a little bit like tonally confused. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier. <laughs> An appallingly manipulative cycle. This is from Variety. <laughs> and it's got a rod in it. <laughs> oh, you manipulate. It's like what Trump did with Michael Moore. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but he like retweeted a thing about Michael Moore acting like Michael Moore was supporting him, but he only took the first part because the rest of it is all followed by why he thinks Donald Trump would be a horrible president. When I heard that, I was like, oh, it's kind of like movie trailers. When they take like a good part of a terrible review yeah. <laughs> and they put it on there. Insert one word. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what Variety says here. <laughs> An appallingly manipulative psychological thriller. 
they're, they're, um, this video is not going to be monetized, which scolds audiences for not caring enough about our veterans while counting on the well-meaning message to excuse this otherwise awful mess. I don't base like my opinions off of what like other critics are saying. I there have been plenty of times where I completely disagree with a low score on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. However, with that being said, a lot of these people are saying things that I was kind of thinking, like cliches, all too familiar. I don't know. You look, you look a little sad. I just you look shy. a little disappointed. It's like, <laughs> I, know you, I know you want him to do well. Yeah. I know. He's had, a, he's had a tough lately. Hasn't really had any hits lately. He's got to pick a different genre, maybe. Maybe he needs to stop doing crazy shit so much. Yeah. Before he did all the bag over his head and stuff, he was getting in like DUIs and everything. Well, shy, you need to get your personal life under control. Just do it! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Good timing, Monet. On that note, <laughs> subscribe today, Rejects, and get accepted. Monet Moyo is part of the awesome Healthy Baking Channel, Sweet Eats, mm -hmm. where you learn how to bake deliciously. Mm-hmm. And healthily. healthily. <laughs> with Monet and Jesse. Luca Torti. <laughs> All of them on Instagram as well. You have a great night, America.